Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much. Um, just being able to, you know, put videos out and knowing it's a blessing for people to really truly be on that level of understanding with you is just it, it appreciate I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart um just being able to know that I'm not alone going through certain issues and knowing that we all can relate one one way or another is truly a blessing to me so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact to give that impact your life and hit you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the videos uh, give you good vibes or good information you'd love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times right now and need confirmation or validation towards even spiritual guidance or just confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose go ahead and share while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit thank you once again for the love and support is greatly appreciated and i love y'all from the bottom of my heart and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and this beautiful music i'm listening to in the background is called miracle healing deep sleep music miracle tone 432 hertz get to sleep fast it, i mean get to sleep easy and relax and i'll post that link in the description box below it's like a um it's like when i put it on it's like my vibes it just gave me a chill and went straight from my head straight to my back and i was like oh okay that's a you know that's a mood kit chiller um but anyway my video today is twin flame 101 hey opus the amazing feeling when the chains fall off and you you are free i was going i don't know what i was going through the other day but it was just like so much it wasn't like i was depressed or anything i don't know if you well you, i know y'all probably have but when you have gone through so much in life where you just felt like things aren't going to ever get better for you you know even though you know you you see the signs and stuff that's going on but it's just like when you are just emotionally and mentally and spiritually drained i know y'all had to feel that way one way or another you know we all feel that way but then it was just like i had this emotion of, I, I was just like emotion relief because it felt like stuff it was that was so heavy on my back it just finally fell off you know and it, it was just like because no matter what goes on around me not every day is going to be perfect not every day is going to be sunshine and rainbows. You want to be skipping to the tulips and stuff like that. But you already know the spirit guides got your back. The angels got your back. You know, heavens and, you know, the creator and source of them got your back. You just have to be able to have that faith in them as well as in yourself. You know, there are so many things that, you know, we don't take a leap out on because we're, we're scared about what people think or what people might say. Or would they get me? Will they understand me? You know, there are so many things that, you know that it's hard for us to be able to do because we put the, the word fear in front of it. You know, we, there's times we put limited beliefs on ourselves. But when you can take those chains off and it just makes you feel so much lighter, like you're not, you're, you're depressed at times, you know, you're sad because there's so many things that has happened to you. There's days I don't sit here and cry because it was just, my life se seemed to be and real surreal to me you know and it's just like dad did i really go through this did i really have family that did this to me and you know am i really related to the people i'm related to you know there's a lot of things that went through my mind that you know it was hard to deal with at times sometimes it is you know because it's like with my situation when it came to my mom's ex-husband i mean it was just like sometimes i mean i still go through it but there are sometimes things could be so you know traumatic towards me i you know i still have to you know process that like did my family just really do this to me did my, my you know my mom's ex-husband i can't even call my my uh, adopted father because i stripped him of that um they re really placed me in cer certain situations like this to please other people you know and it was just like as soon as i went through that i paused for the college y'all my bad y'all my phone wrong but yeah you can go through so many different things you know because it's just like there's times I, I can really just stare at my dad's picture at times and just you know just 
just sit up here and think about our every encounter, you know, because it was just for a long time. My memories were so suppressed and on top of people altering my memory and stuff like that was really messed up to me. And being able to have everything flutter back all at one time was like nerve wracking. So it, it was just like, and now I can finally see why things had to happen where they happened. Why did they, you know, I had to go through all these different trials, you know, it's, it's bigger than me you know i had to go through a lot of things just to be able to you know it, it's just like just to sit up there and say okay you're a messenger for something you always said that you wanted to be able to help the world heal the world in some kind of way be able to bring peace and love to somebody's life i never knew how i was going to do that you know there's some people y'all probably heard me say this in a video before but it, it's just like when you can sit back and you can think about all the things that has happened into your life, all the things that you would never wish on anybody else to go through. But being able to see, even though through traumatic situations brought by beautiful blessings as well. So it's just a lot of things that I've thought about and a lot of things that has occurred in my life. And just being able to, you know, talk to a lot of y'all that, you know, I've talked to away from YouTube, um, being able to do those one on ones and stuff like that has really been a blessing to me being able to help people out to understand you know because a lot of times things can go in our minds it makes you like can this really happen or is this real you know it makes you do stuff like that and until somebody comes back and clarifies this for you and confirms these things for you just being able to put that joy in somebody's heart being able to be that kind person to they can shoot positivity towards people especially total strangers because i mean even though we're solely connected we're you know humanly strangers pretty much whatever you want to call it but it has always been a beautiful thing to me each and every time i can really bring that joy to somebody's life you know there like i've said before there's times i sat here and you know try to just process why i had to go through the things i went through and then being able to have people just relate in some kind of way or another just being able to do that that's why i tell y'all so many times i love y'all from the bottom of my heart i might not even know you i'm loving the people that haven't even met me yet you know but being able to help people out to give them that courage you know i always tell people because I, I have to tell myself this i have to give myself pet talks at times you know you can do this you know there's always a bigger purpose behind the things that you go through and i tell everybody that there's always a big pur bigger purpose than you are for the reason why you're going through the things you go through you have to go through trials and tribulations you have to go through abuses and all these crazy different things because you never know what person you're going to bump into or what person is going to be drawn to you because i don't rather, really feel like anything is an accident or coincidence there's a lot of people that come your way a lot of people that came my way i had to be able to open up and tell people about the things that has been placed upon my life because there's so many people going through so many damaging things in their life and they're really trying to find that thin lining you know in the sky to be able to know is there a blessing sitting out there for me and it really is you all have blessings waiting out there for you but you have to go through so many trials and tribulations to be able to go through love being able to go through hate being able to go through healing and believe and having faith for you to be able to get those those blessings because you see little blessings each and every day because we're still here we're still learning we're still growing we're soaking up knowledge like a sponge to be able to have all these different things occur in our lives for us to be able to say you know what I have it I can do this you know and there's times you know my phone just lit the heck up as soon as I had said that you know so it's just like all these different things have been placed in my life and it has really tested my strength my sanity <laughs> you know because i said i might be a little cuckoo for cocoa puffs but you know that's that good kind of crazy people was like is something wrong with her my friend used to say that you know is she crazy she that good kind of crazy but you know you have to be able to go through it to get to it to understand you know there's a lot of things like i told you i would not wish on my worst enemy the things i've known the things that you know i had to wrap my head around for the things that i placed in my life you know my children are like mom you really went through this because it's kind of unbelievable to them as well because certain things that have occurred but you know everybody has a purpose behind the pain that they have to go through you know a lot of times we have to be able to go through these things just for us to be able to see that there can be love built out of a dark situation you know there's a lot of times things are being placed in somebody's life you never know the person that you're gonna meet next time and then they come up and tell you their life story and you're just looking like you know how can you still place a smile on your face you know 
after all these things have been done to you. It's hard to do that, but you can't spend your life in being mad. You can't be spending the rest of your life feeling sorry for yourself or trying to, you know, say, woe is me. You know, we have all played a little victim in certain things until we were being able to know. And I'm not saying playing victim like you want people to feel bad for you. But there's times we have been a victim of pain, we of some kind of pain, you know, until you had to be able to snatch that back and say, hell no. You know, I don't want to feel sorry for myself. You know, it's just like before I can even write the concept around things that have went on with me I remember back when watching when Chris Brown and Rihanna got into that certain situation and she just went you know below the radar for you know almost close to a year and then when she started talking to Oprah she was like I didn't want to be a victim to nothing I didn't want nobody feeling sorry for me and now I finally understand what she meant by that because she they didn't want her everybody look at her oh that's the guy you know that's the girl that Chris Brown beat on she wanted to be that person that you know hey you know this is Rihanna person that went through all this and it overcome everything yeah it made her look at life a lot differently but she had to carry her strength beyond that you know because it's just already bad that somebody put her hands on you know I don't know what happened between them but it's just so much worse when you're in the public eye you know because it's like women get beat up every day but it's just the fact is when you can have see your face you know, all like that, and then somebody placed you on there for the world to see, that has to be the most hurtfulest thing to have to go through, and it's just like, it makes me think about my life, you know, one day, <laughs> it is going to be plastered out here, and people are going to know about certain things that I, I don't want nobody feeling sorry for me, I don't, never want to play victim about anything, because this could have happened to anybody, you know, this probably is people if this is going through, you know, I hear a lot of kids that get, you know, in foster care, that people abuse them. And that's the reason why I want to be an advocate, not just for children that get adopted, but or in foster care, but just children in general that are going through abuse with families. You know, people get social security checks for kids and, you know, these kids are set up here emaciated. I was hearing about it, you know, a few weeks ago. And it was just like, I dog, I thought my life was messed up. They, they had something far worse happen to them, you know. But all these different things had to come in our life, you know. And it, when you can open up your life and tell somebody this, even though when it's like when people used to work with me and when I open up my life and tell them, they were like, Rosa, we never would have thought that about you. You always laughing and joking, you know, all the time trying to make us laugh and you're so silly. We would have never expected this from you. I said, because I knew what it felt like to be hurt. I knew what it felt like for people to constantly put me down because they seen what was in me I didn't see in myself so they made sure that they can try to break me down any kind of way make sure I didn't discover that that's why a lot of y'all go through a lot of the things that you are going through right now and being able to touch that knowledge of love towards y'all you know there's a lot of times I always pray before I do my videos because I know when people are watching my videos they have to be struggling to go through something because there's so many people that are, you know, that are uh, subscribing to my videos. There's a lot of people saying, you know, you, you, your videos touch me in that emotional way because I know there are certain things that you are still wrestling with. There are so many things that you're trying to get computed in your head on why you had to go through certain things. Why did it have to be this way? And it's just like we get our strength tested all the time. We have to be able to go through trials and tribulations like this because this proves our strength. Because if you're still here through all that, you still have a purpose. You have to understand that as well. You know, you're, you're going to be able to knock those chains off. And it's just like when you finally see that your purpose pushed you from that pain, that pain is going to push you into a serious purpose. I promise you that. Because whatever you're going through right now, it's gonna, it has a beautiful purpose too. So pause for the call, y'all. Yeah, but sorry about that, y'all. My maintenance people are here. They had to come fix up in my house. But yeah, believe that every time, everything that happens, it happens for a deeper purpose than we fail to realize. At times, it, a lot of times, we have to go through trials and tribulations to be able to understand why we are here in the first place. So when those chains can finally come off, you know, it's going to be a beautiful feeling. Or you just feel like a certain chapter in your life is about to end and another one's about to begin. It's because those emotional chains you had took off. So I hope you're able to uh, uh, resonate with the video. <laughs> Much love to you. I want to give a post notification uh, shout out to uh, Deborah A. Valari. 
Velarde, much love to you and welcome towards the family as well as just Ella uh, 55 as well. So like and subscribe, drop me a line, let me know if you resonate, it'll all be great. Uh, hit the notification bell and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there coming for your better days. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild.